My name is Igor. I live in Clisson in France and I'm the founder of Le Capineau. This year I organized the first edition of the Le Capinade, which is a family gathering of Le Capineau clients. And the idea is really to get together uh, a lot of my clients so they share and exchange uh, all kinds of things uh, during those uh, four days. Uh, and the key point here, the central point, is the Pinot and the joy we have with, with this uh, fantastic tandem. On the first day, to make a good start, we actually went uh, to make a visit of a vineyard, which is actually owned by a Le Capino client. So he makes Muscadet, so we are near Nantes, it's a, a wine growing area, and we spent about two hours cycling there and then visiting the, the vineyard. The second day was a busy day. In the morning, we visited the Clisson. Clisson is quite uh, typical of uh, a nice, a nice uh, French uh, village. It's got a very interesting architecture based on uh, Italy, uh, Italian uh, spirit, and also it's got a medieval castle, a nice river, and uh, lots of things to, to see uh, and visit. So it was really a really great day, and I think it was a really of great interest to all those people attending the Le Capinade. The market is quite famous because it's quite big for the uh, area and there's a lot of local producers coming to sell their, their products. So all people from Le Capinex actually went to the market and bought some fruits and veg and also some local specialties like fish and meat, oysters. And it was a great picnic really. In the afternoon, we went to Tifoge uh, with uh, our Pinots. It was uh, quite challenging for most uh, because it was only 22 kilometers, but at the, at the same time, it was a really hot day. So yeah, it took us a, a bit of effort to get to Tifoge. And once in Tifoge, we actually visited the medieval castle and saw a spectacular show of knights battling uh, one against the other. It was fantastic for the kids. It was just so great. Have an ice cream and watch the uh, watch the show. During the day, there were plenty of op opportunities for people to discuss and to exchange about their experience with the Pinot and then traveling uh, experiences. And in the nights, we organized uh, official testimonials, where we have people testimonials from people uh, who cycled across Europe, and also testimonials for people from people, families, having handicapped children and having the Pinot as a central point now in their, in their family. So it was great, it was a, a time for exchange and we had plenty of opportunities yeah, to exchange and to learn, to learn a lot about uh, other people. Great time. On the third day, we took a bit of a rest after this busy day uh, at Tifoge and we went to a nature reserve called Uncafino and it was on only 15 kilometers but the idea was really to get there to get in the shade and really to have a picnic and relax for the afternoon at the end of the day we came back all together all these 20 Pinots on, on the road and again it was a really, go a really good time On numerous occasions when delivering Pinot to clients' homes I was telling myself, oh damn, this family really needs to meet this other family. And the Le Capinade was actually a good occasion to get all these people to meet and discuss. And it was a really a great success. I mean, the, the sense of family, uh, like having a Pinot and being able to share something uh, about this was really great. It was really obvious during the Le Capinade that we really built a Le Capinot community during these four days of Le Capinade. On the last day, we actually organized a mechanical workshop because we, we had a lot of participants who were interested in knowing how to fit a derrière, how to fix this, how to fix that. So we took about two to three hours to, around the Pinot and actually worked on, on the Pinot. So people learned how to 
uh, look after their bikes and to fix the main, the main problems on, on the bike. After all these years working on the Pino and based on my own family experience with the bike, also those of my clients, I've got two nicknames for the Pino. The first one is La Machine du Bonheur and the second one is La Machine à Sourire. La Machine à Bonheur is about the, the happiness bicycle because it makes people so happy. Riding the Pino is a real joy. And La Machine à Sourire is a smiling machine and that's people who are on the Pino that actually smile, but people who are outside and watching the Pino that actually get some smiles as well. So great machine, a lot of joy on, on, on the Pino.